Hey y'all, so in today's video I'm going to try and do a full face of makeup that was purchased at TJ Maxx. Now I have purchased this quite a while back but I'm just now getting around to shooting the video. But um, I have not used this makeup so it will be still like a first impressions because I haven't used any of these products before. Um, so first thing I will um, I didn't get any footage of me um, shopping at TJ Maxx to buy these, but we'll um, just go ahead and go into it. Now, I don't know if I got a complete full face because I think they're like I didn't get eyeliner. I forgot eyeliner. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to go in with, I didn't get a primer, but I have already moisturized. So we'll just go straight in with the foundation. And the foundation I got is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation. Um, it says it's buildable. It's a high definition foundation. Um, it's supposedly lightweight, so we'll see. And I've already took it out of its package and opened it. This is probably going to be too dark for me. Um, I do have a little bit of a... Um, Tan from going, we went on vacation. So we're going to start out with just a little bit. Let's see if there's a, there's not a mirror in here. Let's see if there's a mirror in here. I need a mirror, sorry. Alright, there's a mirror in here. So, and I'm going to take this. And it really does have a odd smell to it. <laughs> I'm just kind of pouncing that all over. I can't really tell any coverage <laughs> to be honest. I'm just using um, my beauty sponge to blend it in. I'm going to blend it down my neck. And I'm sorry if you can hear rain in the background. It's raining and thundering. Pretty bad storm going on right now. Okay. And, but it does say it's buildable, so I'm going to go in with a second layer and see. I'm just trying to drag it down my neck some. Okay. So that was just one layer, and I have some still on my finger, so I'm just kind of tapping it around. All right, so let's go in with a second layer and see if it's buildable. Because another thing that I forgot, or that I don't have from TJ Maxx, is a concealer so actually what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and pat some of this foundation under my eyes because as you can all see and if you watch any of my other videos you know I have very very dark uh, circles under my eye and I don't remember if I said it or not this is shade vanilla So I put some down on my neck too, just so I can try to blend that color in with my neck. I'm going to tap that under my eyes too. Alright, and just finish blending this out. Okay, so I definitely do believe that it is buildable because the second layer definitely made it look like I had more foundation on the set the first layer was like like I didn't put anything on I didn't feel like it covered anything but like because I do have a blemish here and with the second layer I can I don't know if you can see it on camera but I can definitely tell that it covered it some not great but it did cover it some so there's that I'm gonna bring it up onto my ears but it does feel lightweight too, like it uh, advertises. It's definitely lightweight, definitely buildable. Is it my favorite? No, not right now. Not that I can see. Okay, so that is the foundation. I don't know how well it's blended but um, I'm actually shocked though I thought it was going to be super dark for my skin complexion but I don't think so not, not too bad this so the next thing I got was um, 
I'm going to take the sticker off so you can see a little bit better. Um, the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. Um, they didn't have a whole lot of like loose setting powders at the TJ Maxx that I went to um, a while back when I picked this stuff up. But anyway, so this is it. Um, it's a pressed powder. And this is the shade I got. I think it was Cream Ivory. Classic Ivory. Classic Ivory. Um, it feels really nice. So I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just set that foundation. And this isn't, as, uh, this isn't, no. Lord. Sorry, y'all. Sometimes I have really bad grammar. But this isn't a special, um, brush or anything. It, it says it's Isabella Scott. It's, um, one I got for Christmas one year. But it's, it's really pretty. It's got, like, the little, uh, pretty handle. So, anyways, just setting that. And I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to try and go in with a smaller brush and set my under eyes. They are so dark. Okay, so that is that. Next thing we're going to go in with is, I think I'll do eyeshadow. I got two different eyeshadow palettes. So the two different eyeshadow palettes I got is the Pacifico natural minerals eyeshadow palette. It's very cute. It actually comes with highlighters, blush and bronzer, and eyeshadows. So this will be a cute little, if it works really good, it'll be cute to take uh, on vacation. You know, you just got this one thing you can take and be done. And then also, I'm really excited because I have not, I have never owned an eyeshadow palette from MAC and I got this from TJ Maxx and it was actually on sale. It was seven bucks so I was super excited about this. This is a fashion fanatic eyeshadow palette and oh sorry this does have a mirror. Um, but they are so pretty and then you have this big like I think it's a highlighter. I don't know it's a big uh, shadow. I don't know if you can see how pretty that is but anyway I was very excited about this. It was open, but it didn't like have any fingerprints like it had been swatched or anything. So, um, I picked it up. And then, so, debating on what type of eye look I want to do. Um, I really would like to look, uh, do the MAC shadows and see how well they perform. But I'd also like to see how well the ones in the Pacifica palette perform. Because if they perform well, then I can take this, you know, all in one and... Um, so maybe we'll do a little bit of both and like I said I didn't bring eyeliner so I may just do like a look with um, my eyeshadow as my eyeliner we'll see so the first thing I'm going to do is take a big fluffy brush for my transition shade and so I'm going to take my M505 this is a big uh, fluffy blending brush it works really well and for my transition shade so I think for my transition shade, I'm going to use this really light shade in the um, MAC palette. It's a very light shade. So I'm just going to take that all over this brush. Start from the outside and work my way in. Oh, it's kind of shimmery. Yikes. I don't know how well that's going to work. It's actually very shimmery. Okay. So rewind we're gonna try and use this actually this bronzer but very lightly as my transition shade because the MAC shade was just it's just too shimmery it's not gonna work as a transition shade so I'm gonna take a very very light amount and even dust it off of that bronzer oh yes much 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 better I didn't wipe that shimmer shade off though, which I should have, but hopefully we can make it work. Hopefully we can make it work. Now, we're going to try that with the same, or the other eye, just as a transition shade. Okay, 
So next color I think I want to use is hmm, I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna go for a per, kind of a purple look. So I'm gonna use this light purple shade here. It feels so nice and soft in the MAC palette. So I'm gonna take another little I don't know what kind of brush. It's more it's like a blending brush too. So I'm gonna take that all over the brush take that shade all over this brush and just kind of work this one more into the crease and just a little bit above the crease of my eyelid dipping back into that shade that's a very creamy creamy shade I'm gonna just take this with nothing on it I kind of wiped it off a little bit and just kind of blend that in with my transition shade very very lightly like hardly touching my skin at all super soft just to blend the two colors in together and I don't know if you can kind of see how like the the light purple blends in with the brown that's kind of what I was going for so now we're going to do the other side and dipping in one more time mainly focusing like I said on the crease and a little bit above the crease Okay, and then again taking the big fluffy brush and just barely touching my skin just to blend those two colors together. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to take like more of an all over eyeshadow brush. I do believe that's what I want to use, but I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use. I guess I'm going to use this one. So this one, um, these brushes came out of my Wish um, video. If you did not see that video, um, be sure to check it out. Okay, so I'm going to go next in with this purple shade here. It's a more deeper purple. Okay. And then we're just going to go on the outer edge with this purple. So just dipping back into that. And I'm just going to tap it all over this outer edge of my lid here. And again, just to blend everything together, I'll kind of, I do like this a little bit, wipe everything off. And just very slightly hardly even touching my eye again I'm gonna go back and I blend those colors together okay and again on the other eye that's Hanley in the background if you hear him Sweet boy. I don't mind it. <laughs> Alright, and then we're going to just blend those colors together again very, very lightly with your big fluffy brush if you do this. Um, just, just barely touching your skin just to blend the colors in and it makes it look like so you don't have it so sharp. It kind of gives it a more gradient look versus a sharp color look. Okay, now I'm gonna just take and look at how those colors look together and then we'll put, I'm gonna put just a little bit of a shimmer color on the inner corners of my eye. And then I think I'll be done with my eyes. Okay, it looks really, really good. I think anyway. There's a lot more shimmer shades that I bought than I had, than I thought that I had bought. So there was a, it was a little hard to find a transition shade and matte shades in both of these palettes. So if that was definitely a challenge. Um, all right, so I think I want to go back in the Pacifica palette because I really want to try these eyeshadows. So I'm going to use this shade. And it is this 
shade here. There's no names on either one of these palettes, so I'm just kind of have to, having to point at what I'm using. So this is going to be just in my inner corner and kind of halfway up through, halfway between my eyelid. And then I'm just using my finger and it'll help blend the, those um, two shades together. Doing the other eye. Alright, so that is that. I'm going to take another little, um, I use this one from my Urban Decay Naked Palette sometimes to do my inner corner because it, it has like a big fluffy side and then it has this little more detailed side. So I'll use this part of the brush and I'm going to go back into that same sh uh, shadow from the Pacifica palette and just kind of do more in the inner corner or a little bit of a pop. Okie dokie. Now we are going to go ahead and do bronzer and blush and we're just going to go back into the Pacifica palette. Now this blush that's in here is not your typical blush for myself. It's very dark. So I will be more than likely going in with a light hand. This bronzer is actually a lot darker than I would usually use to. But I'm going in with just a very slight amount. And just using back and forth and circular motions on my cheeks. And it doesn't seem creep, I mean, um, it doesn't seem patchy. It seems to be blending very well. It is a nice color. It's just um, not what I would typically use for my skin type or my skin color. It's pretty dark. And again, back and forth in circular motions. And I will go up like on my temples and the perimeter of my face and down my neck. I'm just making sure it's blended in really nice. Okay, very good. Now we're going to do the blush and again, very, very light-handed. I'm going to use my AOA Studios. This is for my $1 makeup video. If you haven't seen that, you should check it out. I found some really good products from the $1 website that I still use, so. Okay, so very, 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 very little bit of blush on here. So I just have a feeling it is not going to take much of that blush to show up. Yes, that is perfect. That is about all. It seems like it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Let me swipe it. Yes, it does. It has like a little bit of a, a sheen, um, like a lumen, lumi effect. I think that's what you call it. Okay. And again, very light hand. I don't go for um, a whole lot of um, illuminating blushes because they accent my pores. I have very deep pores, like here, 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 <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so a lot of times I go for a matte full face because I have such large pores you don't want to do a whole lot of illuminating and accenting those large pores. So um, just got this big bluffy, bluffy, did I say bluffy, fluffy, big fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. And it's just to kind of help blend the blush and bronzer, blend everything in. Alright, so now for, I'll go ahead and do highlight. Let's save highlight for last. I'll do highlight last. Um, so now this is something I'm very scared to do. But this I bought, it's a Physician's Formula Feather Brow fiber and highlighting highlighting duo so you use the fiber part 
to fill in um, and do your eyebrows and then of course the highlighting part is to highlight under the brow but this fiber part scares me I think you have to be a super expert on brows to use something like this so this is sorry I didn't show the full product did I so this is the product this is the side with the fibers this is the side with the highlighter so you pull this out and I got this this is in light brown they did not have my shade I usually use blonde they did not have that at all when I went so I am about to try oh okay. well that don't look too bad I mean my brows need help and it's definitely probably not the shade especially with my hair being so blonde right now it's dark but that was pretty easy to use I actually it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was I mean and look I mean that is a huge difference if it stays put throughout the day it won't be so bad but we'll see I'm gonna do the other side here oh that is so cool this looks I mean when I saw it it just looked like one of those really gimmicky products and I was like yeah okay we'll try it but it's actually like super easy to use and not as like I thought it's gonna be messy too because this is fibers oh lord this is starting to look bad I should have probably not did that <laughs> this one looks a lot higher oh gosh hold on my baby singing let's try and make these match a little better but it is really neat product it's, if you can use it right um okay so and some advice if you're gonna use this I feel like I look very silly because it is way too dark for my hair but <laughs> I can't even look at myself in the viewfinder. Oh god. If you are going to use this, I would suggest first getting your right shade. And secondly, doing it before you do your foundation or anything else because it can get messy. The fibers and everything else. Alright, so now we're just going to try the highlight part. Like I need to highlight these dark brows. I feel like someone just taped some somebody else's brows on my forehead that is so funny I look silly <laughs> I look very silly okay so that's that okay so next we're gonna go in with mascara this is the Laura Geller lost loss I cannot talk lash boss max extra bold mascara so this is a wonky looking wand check out that wand that looks can you see it I hope you can see it yeah okay there we go it looks very wonky that's the only word I can describe it all right so we're about to oh i think i like it it gets my this little the top that top part of this wand here really gets those small lashes in the inner corner of your eye can you tell like there's a huge difference i can tell in person so i don't know if you can tell but i really like this mascara if it stays on all day i'll be impressed Okay, so now let's do the other eye. Okay, I may have to do another coat on my bottom lashes. Okay, so not bad. I actually, I really like this mascara. I will probably use that again for sure. Okay, so what do we got next? Lips. So for lips I bought 
this Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in the shade Staunch, I think is how you say it. Staunch. So let's see how this performs. My lips are so dry right now, I really don't need a matte lip. I should have put on a lip balm. Alright, well let's try it out. It is very matte. Very. Definitely going to have to have a lip gloss. I really didn't prep my lips good enough for a lipstick like this. Because it is very, very matte. Um, and it didn't glide on the greatest. It was very hard to like put on. But anyways, I did not get a setting spray. Oh, highlighter. We gotta put highlighter on. Hello. These are um creamier highlighters. They're like a cream to powder. So I think I'm gonna use oh I dropped it. I think it's like a cream to powder type situation. So I think I'm gonna use a sponge to apply them. I'm trying to think which sponge. I may just use the one I had. Would you please be quiet, Mr. Frog? I'm trying to shoot a video. Okay, so I'm gonna use this middle like pink highlighter since I used a purple type look. So I'm going to just dip my sponge into it. I'm using the same sponge I put my foundation on because I just am. And I'm not going to go all the way to the end but like I'm not going to go all the way in like into my nose. I'm just kind of going kind of cute. Can you see it on camera? I like it. It's very, it's subtle. It's not like a blinding highlight, but it's, it definitely gives a, a highlight to your face. It's super cute. I like it. I think I like it. Okay. And then I'm just going to use my finger to kind of go up my nose. Oh, that might be a little too much. That one is very pink toned, so be careful if you do happen to pick up this palette. Okay, now just kind of stamping everything into place a little bit with the bottom of my beauty blender. There's nothing in there. Or not beauty blender, beauty sponge. It's not a beauty blender. Okay, besides my awesome dark brows, <laughs> I don't think it, the, bad, uh, the look overall is bad. I let my hair down, but I didn't brush my hair, so it's going to look a hot mess. And I don't usually wear big hoop earrings, but they were in a set of uh, earrings that I had bought for 4th of July. And I was like, why not? They don't look too bad, I don't think. I like them. They're just really heavy. That's why I don't usually wear big hoop earrings because they feel so heavy. My hair is not brushed, you guys, so it looks pretty yikes right now. So, anyway, this is the full look from makeup from TJ Maxx. What do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, in the comments below and um, that is the end of this video these eyebrows though <sighs> all right please uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you aren't already and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see these type of videos I'll be happy to do more of these videos and yes comment down below um, what you think of this makeup look <laughs> bye guys